This video will walk you through how you can track the cash account in ShareSite. Adding your cash account will track the movement of your cash and give you an idea of the available cash you have on hand that can be used to invest in more shares. The cash account feature is available on the Investor Expert and Pro plan. From the Portfolio Overview page, click on Add Cash Account. And in here, you see the options to add manual cash account or connect to zero. In this example, I'll show you how to add the manual cash account. So in the cash account, there's two fields. One is for the currency and the other one is for the display name. The currency is defaulted to the portfolio tax residency. And in here, of course, you can select other currencies that ShareSite support as well. But do keep in mind if you select other currencies that is different from your portfolio tax residency, ShareSite will convert the value back to the portfolio's tax residency. In this case, we'll use the Australian dollars um, as an example because that is the portfolio tax residency. And we'll use the cash account for the display name and create a new cash account. Now that you have added your cash account, so the first thing you want to do is to create an opening balance. What you're going to do here is to add transaction. And in here, I'll change the date to 2011 as an example. And in here, shares I offer a selection of transaction type for you to choose from just for you to track your transaction accurately. So in this case, we'll use the deposit type and I'll enter 1 million as an example. And under the descriptions, I'll enter opening balance. So to create this opening balance transaction, I just need to click on add transaction. Okay, so from here, we can. I'm going to show you how you can nominate your trades and pay out accounts to the cash account so what i'm going to do here is click on the settings tab at the top and under details you see here there's options to nominate a cash account for your trades and payout so in this case we'll select the cash account that we just created earlier uh, one thing to, to keep in mind is that you can create multiple cash account in your share site portfolio and you can nominate a different cash account separately for your trades and payout and another thing to, to keep in mind as well is that if you have created a cash account where the currency is different from your portfolio tax residency that cash account will not show up as an option in here uh, so here we're going to go ahead and save these settings now to populate your cash account what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the cash account again so we're going to go in there and in there, I'll click on Manage Sync Trades and Payouts. So in here, you can select any date that you want to begin start syncing all your transactions. But in this example, we will select since the inception date of your portfolio. And we're going to click Sync Trades and Payouts. And you can see all the transactions uh, from that date would populate in the cash account. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you decide to edit any of the SYNC transaction, changing that would affect the underlying trades of that specific holdings. Um, if you decide to make changes to the transa transaction that you have manually added, then the changes will only be reflected in the cash account. If you'd like to change your cash account name, what you can do is click on the cash account settings here. And in here, you can change the cash account name. And you also have the options to delete this cash account. If you want to remove all your sync transaction, click on the manage sync trades and payout. And you see here, there's options to remove sync transaction. If you want to export your cash account report, we have three icons here where you can export them into your Excel spreadsheet, PDF, and Google Drive. Going back to your portfolio overview page, um, 
do take note that the current the current portfolio value up here also include your cash account balance and if you want to navigate back to your cash account you can always scroll all the way to the end of the overview page and you can find your cash account right at the bottom this concludes how you can track your cash account in ShareSite. If you found this video helpful, do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get updates whenever we upload new videos. And also don't forget to follow us on our social media at ShareSite for more product updates and announcements. See you.